Hey, what is up guys? In here with a YouTube video, and in this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the V8 wireless sports headphones. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of these pretty sweet looking headphones. Um, so let's start by the, they're called the V8 wireless sports headphones, so it's, you know, it's probably going to be waterproof. I'm going to suggest they're sweatproof at least. Let's go ahead and do a box around the box. What it says around the box, um, it says it has up to six hours of play time, up to eight hours of talk time, less than one and a half hours, um, charging time, and up to 150 hours of standby, so it can just sit there without you using it, 150 hours. And it says wireless stereo headphones, secure fit earphones. Okay, so the back side, um, so it has the extra features it has, magnetic power on and off and headphone storage, and durable battery life for long working time, steady far distant connections, ultra lightweight for all day comfort, a noise reduction and echoing canceling feature, and an HD sound call, call, calling feature. That's pretty neat. And the magnetic power on and off, I'm going to suggest that that means it's, uh, I guess when you pull them apart, I mean, from the front picture, or from the picture it had on the, um, where'd it have it at? There's a picture on it somewhere. Um, oh yeah, I was, I was thinking right here, in between, that they maybe between they connect right there is when they, um, the magnet turns them on and off. I'm, I'm suggesting, or guessing, I guess, magnetic power on and off. So I guess when you pull them apart, it turns them on or something. But, hmm, looks pretty nice so far in, in a steady far distance connection. So I guess pretty far away from your phone, the Bluetooth capabilities. But the uh, performance product performance perimeter um, just talks about you know basic things about it. Nothing I really care about honestly. Um, the battery, it's a 100 100 milliamp uh, polymer rechargeable battery. Okay, yeah, all this stuff I have no idea what that means. Um, and then we've got the uh, right there. It talks about it. The charging port, multifunctional button, the mic. The next song, previous song, okay, and then uh, fashionable design, V8, talks has three different sizes, sweet, okay, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing, I'm kind of ready, let me, yeah, let's seal, okay, and then, I think it is, Ooh. oh, it's mag, is it magnet, I think it, yeah, it's magnet. That's pretty sweet. I got a little, um, for opening it, you just... Oh, sweet. All right. Oh, frick. That looks pretty nice. Look at that. Ooh, let's get the angle on it. Ding, the light reflection. Those look pretty clean. And then it just talks about basically more what we just saw, I think. Yeah. Wow, look at these headphones, guys. Those look pretty nice looking. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, okay. Let's pull them out like that. Oh. Okay. Well, these are the headphones. I guess they weren't magnetic in the middle. I thought, oh, actually they were. Okay, cool. All right, so this is what they look like. Let's pull it back a little bit. So it's got wireless, obviously it's not wireless wireless, but it's wireless connected to your phone. There's the adjustable little band on it, but wow, these look pretty sweet. I can see someone jogging with these wearing, wearing these. These look pretty nice. Has the Cobra Tech logo right there. That looks pretty sweet. And then this is the what is this? This is the right ear, so. And it has the names of the I believe it'll focus. It has the left and right ears, so this is how it should go in your head. If this is your left and this is your right, this is how it should go in your ears. Sweet. Cool. And then there's the little speakers in there. You can see them very well. And this just helps to hold your ears, like hold them together. And they, I guess, but I guess I guess earlier, right? But whenever you turn them off, you just go, and they connect together, and that turns them off automatically. And when you pull them apart, that turns them on. I'm assuming. Let's see what else is in this box. Um, move those out of the way. Now I've got the what is this? Oh, okay. So I guess that's oh, that's for different sizes. If you have a small ear or a bigger ear, you can actually um, there's different size cups in there. But I think I'm just going to stick with what they have already on there so I don't want to mess it up. But that's just extra pieces. I got a, ooh, this feels nice. I got a, a pouch you can put them in. 
Sweet, these, these feel this feels really good. It's like smooth. It's like a silk almost kind of. And you just put your headphones in there and, and then carry that with you, I guess. Sweet. That'd be pretty cool. So a little carrying bag you get there, and then you get a charger here. Runs via micro USB. That'll focus, right? Maybe not. Okay, so this micro you connect or charges via micro USB. Um, where's the USB port at? Let me see if I can find it really quickly. Oh, here we go. So on the right ear, on the bottom side, there is a little thing. I guess you pull up right there. If I can pull it up. Well. Oh, there we go. I got it. Had to pinch it off, but I got it. And then you just plug it up via micro USB right there. And that's how it charges. And it doesn't have to charge on the left ear because it's connected through this cord and it charges it by through that way. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you charge it. It doesn't come with a box, like a thing you plug up the box, but um, for those of you people out there that have smartphones, most people, you can use that box when you're not charging your phone. So that's all that's in the box except for the how to use the V8. Welcome to user guide. Sweet. Oh, okay, cool. So a bunch of pictures. Of pictures. Okay, so let's pull this over so it gets in the shot. Um, in the image, this is how to turn it on and off. Uh, to turn on the earphones, pull the magnets apart, turn the earphones off, put the magnets together. So I got that right. And then how to secure the ear foot ear. Sec how to use secure fit ear cushions. They are making the right direction, left and right. Place the ear cups around the uh, cups as shown, and that shows you how they should go on your ear. It's a little, this little thing up here, the little tube thing up in the top part of the ear. It shows you how to wear them. The left and right ear, we know our left and right, so hopefully. Um, place the cord behind your neck, obviously. Adjust the earphones into a comfortable position. Carefully push the ear cushions into your ear. Rotate the earphones until they securely and comfortably fit into your ear. And shown is earphones with incorrectly placed cushions. Yeah, they're backwards. They're upside down. See these things? They should be facing up like that picture. Those are down. These are up. How to use accessories. Glide the earphone lock near the base of the headphones in order to keep them turned off. Okay, so say you're like... Say you're like running around or something, and you have them in the bag, and you want them to turn off. While, you don't want them to, you know, pull apart while you're running or something, or like you're going somewhere without them. What you do is, while they're connected, you just get the little slider thing, and you slide this all the way up to the top, and that keeps them from. If I can get this to, no, that keeps them from um, pulling apart, and then turning back on and using on your battery. So that's pretty sweet. You just keep them just like that, and they won't come apart. And then you just have this, like, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, determine your ear size cushion, your, your ear cushion size by choosing the one that snugly fits sn that fits snugly into your ear. This is important to optimize sound quality and enhance audio and bass. So basically, if you don't know with the earphones, um, you want them to fit the best or else the bass won't sound as good because that's how my earbuds work, my uh, Apple headphones. The newer version, at least, if you get them in your ear right, you'll feel the bass better because it vibrates your ear a little better. So, I mean, I like that's how I like it. I like a lot of bass, but um, so that's the user guide, and that's pretty much it that's in here. I'm not gonna need this bag, I'm gonna put this, these extra pieces inside this bag, and then put that in there. And then, I'm not gonna need these, my, um, these things might need charged. I'm not sure. Let's see how these, I'm not sure what this part does. I don't know how to turn them on. Hmm. All right, so it's a different day, but um, what it, the problem was with the way headphones when I got them was they needed to be charged. So I plugged them in for about an hour or so, and I charged them, and they were fully charged. And now we get to get the part where we actually get to test how they sound and the sound leakage, how they sound, like how much people can hear outside, and um, all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so for the pairing process with these headphones, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings, whether you're running Android or if you're running uh, iOS. Um, and you want to go to the Bluetooth and you want to go ahead and turn them on. And as you can see here, we've got the one I was connected before. What we do now is I have to simply 
hold them apart. And I'm not sure if you can hear this or not, but whenever it does this, it goes, now pairing, and this thing turns red, watch. See, it said something, it said now pairing. So it has that real red light. That means it is pairing now, and it is able to be connected. So then, you see where it says V8? I go ahead and tap on the V8. Um, headset. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to disconnect them. Whoopsies. V8, give it a second. And then, as you can see now, it says connected. And these headphones actually, whenever they connected, it went paired. It said paired, now connected. So that what, that, what that means is now that it's fully connected and with a neat, nice feature on the iOS, I'm not sure if this works on Android, but it'll actually tell me what my percentage is or what my how much battery I have. So you can see the little Bluetooth symbol. And to the right of that, there's a little bar. That tells me how much battery is on my headphones. So right now, as you can see, it's full. And um, so it tells me it's pretty nice. So if I'm just running around, you know, jogging and stuff, I can look down and it'll tell me how much battery I have without having to go look at my headphones that much. But that's how you connect the headphones through iOS. All right, so actually let's put them on and see how comfortable they feel and see how the noise leakage is and how they actually sound for running headphones, right? Okay, so where they are paired, you can see the little, this the one? Uh, which one? Yeah, okay, so you can see this is actually flashing blue. If it'll pick it up. Yep, see it's flashing blue, it means it's connected. And then we're gonna put the right ear, goes in the right ear hole. Make sure it fits right, just like that. And then you can see there, and this little this little part bar part will go inside the other top part of your ear. And let's go ahead and put the other one in. Make sure they fit nice and snug. Luckily, I have small ears, so it's not too out of fit. Um, wait, oh, okay, so that's in there, and that one fits in there. Let's get a different side shot from these. So, left side, right side. Front on. Okay, and then they go around from behind just like this. So this is what it should look like whenever you're running and you've got these headphones in, and they should they feel really comfortable actually. They kind of found like the at least one feels a little less suctiony as that right, left one does. I think it's in my ears, but um, they sound they feel pretty comfortable. I know it's gonna have a lot of bass because I can feel how like they they're suctioned to my ear kind of in my ear canal or whatever. So whenever the bass hits, it's gonna like it's gonna give a pretty good like buzz to it if you know what I mean but um they fit pretty well they sound they feel not sound yet but they feel like they're gonna sound pretty good and they are connected so why don't we go ahead and play us some music here um let's see here let's play some NCS all right so I'm gonna first I'm gonna start off at 50% volume let me go ahead and pause it and go let's see here yeah let's just do that okay so first we're gonna start at 50% volume it's gonna be start with the fire all right so 50% volume. Here we go. They sound pretty good. It's always the beginning of it. Yeah, it's got good bass. It's first hit right there. Mm, I'm gonna be jamming out while I'm running with these things on. Ooh, it's got pretty good highs too. All right, now let's go up to 75%. All right, we are now at 75% volume. You can bring that up. Sounds pretty good. Here's the hit. It's got a pretty good bass. Not as good as Apple AirPods, but it still sounds pretty good. All right, 100% volume. This is 100% volume. 100% volume. Sound leakage, not really sure, but we'll say afterwards. So it sounds pretty good. I'm actually gonna listen to fully through this song. All right, so after listening for a little while, they sound actually really good for their price and how much they are, like how they feel in my ears and stuff. They're really comfortable and they sound actually really, I can't actually talk with all these on there. All right, so we're listening to that full song in CS for a little bit. It actually sounds really good. I actually like how they feel in my ears. They feel really nice. Just like the, like, I like how they fit to my ear and how these little pieces up here kind of fit in the top part of my ear. So it makes them have a snug fit and it feels a lot better than just like regular, just a regular, um, headphones you just plug into your ears they sound a lot better like because they fully fit into my ear 
And I was actually really impressed with these headphones. I'm not, I'm probably actually gonna use these a lot besides just running. I'm actually gonna wear these a lot just from, just not with running in general, but just by themselves, like just everyday use. Cause these sound really good for actually how they, how they um, feel in my ears. And they sound pretty good. So it's probably gonna be one of my uh, new pair of headphones I'm gonna use a lot. And I definitely recommend um, you guys, if you're runners and stuff, to definitely go check these, these uh, Cobra Tech um, V8 running earphones. So I will leave a link in the description below where you go check out their website and definitely go check a pair, of, get get a pair of these because these are very nice. I am really impressed with these and they they sound really good. And apparently it's supposed to get like one and a half hours of uh, one and a half hours of charging or one and a half hours of running with it. So it's pretty nice. I'm very impressed with these and I definitely go check them out. So these are the Cobra Tech. Let me get this right. The the, the the Cobra Tech um, running earphones, V8 running earphones. So definitely go check them out. Um, if you like this video and these headphones, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you want me to do any more kind of reviews related to these kind of headphones and stuff like that. So be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and on Twitter. Those are my three social medias. So if I post anything, that's where it'll be at. And if you want to talk to me, you can always direct message me on there or comment and talk to me on there. So be sure to do that. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.